I was born with a breast deformity that made me detest my breast. I grew up feeling humiliated and disgusted at what I saw in the mirror. At the age of 19, I decided I would get breast implants to fix my congenital deformity. I began to experience an autoimmune disease. My thyroid was out of whack. I had doctors telling me, you're gonna have to take medicine for the rest of your life. You can't lose weight. And I struggled with the idea of removing my breast implants and going back to that person I was born to be. For the first time, the agency is now acknowledging that what women call breast implant illness is real. I explanted February 19th, 2019. This is part of my healing process. I'm very excited to just be on, on this journey for myself. That's really what it's about. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my series, Extreme Body Makeover, where I give my friends, family, and some of your favorite influencers the health and fitness makeover of their dreams. And in the season two premiere of Extreme Body Makeover, I will be giving a makeover to my unofficial twin, Natalie's Outlet. So Natalie and I met through happenstance, through the weirdness of the internet, when on a lot of my videos, everyone was commenting, you look just like Natalie's outlet. And then on all of her videos, everyone was commenting, you look just like Michelle Carre. And so we followed each other on Twitter and DM'd each other and we're like, hey, we look a lot alike. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalie from Natalie's Outlet. I do a little bit of everything. Honestly, Natalie's Outlet is just like my creative space. I am a self-inflicted Truman Show. So I do a little bit of DIYs, life hacks, back to school videos, pranks here and there. I'm Rosalina. Her twin. My twin. The pretty twin. My twin. Your beautiful sister. Did you missed that part. <sighs> Roll the clip. With over 8 million subscribers, Natalie is one of the most dominant beauty lifestyle DIY channels on the platform. Rub it back and forth until it's kind of like a wax. And you just brush up and bam, your eyebrows have grown. Is it sorcery? Is it witchcraft? It's so brows, people. She has a thriving marriage and a wonderful dog. She is such a genuine, honest, and highly positive person not just in her videos, but also in real life. So what's prevented me from starting this whole journey really was I was really sick for some period of time. You know, I needed to allow myself to heal, but also I only prioritize work. Just like being a YouTuber, you guys, you're constantly editing, you're constantly staying up till who knows when. Hello, Oscar! I travel a lot, so I feel like I'm never with a good set of routine. I also haven't like really shown up for myself. I haven't prioritized myself, but recently I've been starting to incorporate more self-care. So this is where all of this comes in. I feel like it's the perfect moment. I'm very excited to just be on, on this journey for myself. That's really what it's about. Natalie. Michelle. My twin. <laughs> I am so excited to introduce you to Brandon and Nick. Hello. Hi guys. Hi. Brandon is going to be your nutritionist. Nick will be your friend in the gym. <laughs> or enemy. Friend. Or yeah, enemy. I was gonna say it's a relative term. <laughs> I'm excited. How are you guys feeling? Great. Does anyone right. ask you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually the first time. Yeah. All right, Brandon, take it away. So I was just going through some of your data that you inputted here. Can you just speak a little bit about the surgery that you had recently? Yes. So I decided to get breast implants at the age of 19. I was very insecure about my breast shape because I was born with a deformity. Slowly but surely, I started experiencing symptoms like my hair was falling off, I was getting brain fog, like I couldn't focus, I wasn't clear. Autoimmune disease, like hypothyroidism, that's not something that you know runs in my family and I had never experienced before. In February of 2019, I decided to explant and I've been so amazing. It's been six months. Can you move your arm slightly? I actually have a video on my channel where I'm showing my husband helping me remove like the cast to see myself. Very scary, very emotional stuff. I felt really guilty for, oh my God, I'm about to start crying. <laughs> When I was looking at myself in the mirror that day, I felt really guilty for what I had done to my body. It made me realize like, wow, will I ever be able to get strong again? Will I ever be able to look normal? Um, 
Will my husband find me attractive? I had doctors telling me, hey, you're gonna have to take medicine for the rest of your life um, to oh, keep up with your autoimmune disease. You're not, you, you can't lose weight. Really, like I would like to go back to what I was prior to getting my implants. I would love to be able to have more strength again in my chest area, you know, cause when I got my implants in, certain yoga poses or even like lifting weights was uncomfortable. Like I'd see my muscle kind of like flex because the implant was under the muscle. One of the things we're definitely gonna try and work on is consistency, you know, get your body in the habit of working out and then recovering. Your body fat is an average range. You can definitely get your, your weight down and your body fat down to, I would say, a fit range. My goal for you is to do about one to two pounds per week. And what's awesome about like this whole process for you is if you would have done this before you had the surgery, you would have had results, but you know, they wouldn't have been probably the same. So now that things are all kind of leveled out, I feel like you, you have a really great foundation. And so this is a nice natural progression. All right, you guys, so today's the day. My very first workout's about to happen. So good look at me because this is about to transform itself. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna start off on treadmill, nothing too crazy. So just, you know, walking at a bit of an incline is a great way to kind of get the body warmed up and get this party started. Adding that cardio element to a circuit, it's also gonna help enhancing those results at a little bit of a quicker pace. The first exercise that I'm gonna show you is actually an RDL, but we're gonna add a row into the bottom. So we're gonna bend over, row in the bottom, Arms come back down and then we stand back up. I am very used to working out in class settings. The gym intimidates me. I don't really like to go and do weights or I don't know how to work machines. I feel like everyone's kind of like staring at me. I get awkward, right? And five, set them down. And so working out with Nick was very interesting in the sense that I had someone always assisting with my posture, with my form, and motivating me, keeping me accountable. Natalie, when you go down, yeah. push your butt back a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Nick was like, get lower, get lower. I was like, all right. Now that I got you breathing heavy, let's lay it down. We got our plank. We're gonna be on the toes. Keep your feet just a little bit apart. And then you're gonna be in a straight line. Ready, set, go. If your feet are sliding, fix them. If your arms are sliding, fix them. You know, I think it's just gonna be learning a lot of the exercises more than anything. She hasn't done a lot of these and, you know, it's just kind of building that vocabulary and working on getting stronger. We got 10 push-ups with a floor tap. You're gonna tap the floor above your head, bring the hands in under the shoulders, and then you're gonna push yourself up. Incorporating chest exercises is gonna be a big part of our program, not only to build her strength, but also to build her confidence in her ability to do those types of exercises. And last one, 10, tap that floor, good job. I was really surprised at how many push-ups I could do. It's been six months since my surgery, so I'm really proud of that. So let's set up shop over here, and then we'll have quick access to the air dine. To the what? The hair dye. Air dye. The air dine. The air dine. Everybody's favorite. Right. So did you say not to go so fast then, or? Oh no, go as fast go as fast? you can. <laughs> Get it. Five seconds, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Two, one, last 16 wow. calories. You feel that everywhere. <laughs> they went great. We got a good full body workout in and I think she is happy with where she's at. You can see your balance is a little better here. No joke, it improves that quickly. And 10, good job. That was a big, <laughs> big first day. That really was. That was super intense. I'm so uh, proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to figure out how much 0.25 cups is. Uh-huh. That's so little. What the heck? This is like nothing. I highly doubt they want me to eat this much. When I saw my breakfast, I think I texted Michelle and I also texted Brandon and I said, hey, are you sure this is the amount? It was 0.25 of a cup and I was like, this is too little. I can't, I can't be full off of this, but surprisingly, it was very filling. Mm.
in the morning, I'd wake up and I would have overnight oats, which was like oats, almond milk, almond butter, and blueberries. Then for a little snack in the day, I would have a protein shake, either chocolate or vanilla, I would interchange it. For lunch, I would have a mix of different greens. I stuck to butter lettuce because it's very easy to chew. As a snack, I would have celery with almond butter. And then for dinner again, I would have a very massive salad. Like we're talking big salads, but I enjoyed it so much. It was so, so, so good. So I made it through my very first week of training, yes. So I've been doing a lot of walking with Jupiter over there. I've been doing yoga classes. I've been building up my strength. I have felt myself be a lot stronger and I feel like I'm already seeing a little bit of tonification going on. So that's kind of nice. Dennis takes the escalator thingy in my jersey. I take the stairs at the gym with Michelle. I don't want to be ungrateful, but I am really tired. I, I just want to stop feeling sore. I want to sleep. <laughs> Yummy, we are at a Thai place, so delicious. Jennifer just gave me her wedding invitations and I'm very happy. The biggest challenge with all of this is really like social settings because, uh, you know, it's just kind of weird to just be eating like uh, a salad when everyone's eating like pizzas. Yay! Happy birthday to you. Or to me, should I say it's to me? Happy birthday <laughs> to me. With Dennis, for his birthday, I really wanted to eat like just salad. And he was like, come on, it's my birthday. Let's have some cake. Let's have this. So I definitely had a little bit of peer pressure in there. <laughs> Honestly, it has been a challenge. I've been very tempted to eat bad food. I've let myself slip a few times. And the other day I jumped on the scale and I hadn't, there was no difference. I was devastated. I was unmotivated. I was very upset at myself. I was embarrassed to look at my trainer and I kind of, I don't know, I kind of got like a little unmotivated. I started eating a little bit bad again. Like I went to In-N-Out, I know, terrible. <laughs> Oh, we brought Taco Bell. This ain't for you, boy. This ain't for me. Just pile it all on. I love how a lot of you just think I'm always so happy and everything's so bubbly and my life is rainbows and cotton candy. And you know what? To be honest, it's not always like that. And I've, I had a pretty crappy day. It's like I think I work too much, if that makes sense. Like I, I take on too many things. And again, like people don't see, like people don't understand how difficult everything can be unless you're doing it all. People just see a 10 minute video, one Instagram post, and it's not like that at all. But I do feel really grateful for this vlog that I get to show you guys like just behind the scenes and my life unfiltered, which is always nice. This never happens to me, but I'm just so tired. And... You should look back into each video and see how many times you've said, I'm tired. I know. I feel like you say that a lot. I'm sorry, but like I am actually tired. I'm definitely an afternoon type of gal for workouts and morning workouts killed me. So I'm at the gym, walking on the treadmill, warming up, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder where Natalie is. Cause we're supposed to start training very soon. Maybe she's a little late. And then minutes and minutes go by and she's nowhere to be found. Your girl's in her PJs. I slept in. That never happens to me. I was supposed to go to the gym while my girls was crazy. I'm so embarrassed because literally my friend Michelle went to the gym, right? She was going to motivate me today and then I get a call and I'm like, what, Michelle? And then she's like, hi Natalie, I'm waiting for you on the treadmill. And I was like, oh, I slept in, oh my God, that literally never happens. There comes a point where, you know, you're working out so hard, you're you're getting used to this new lifestyle, the, these new eating habits. I was also staying up a little bit late, just like working. December is a really busy month for me. And so I guess my body was just like, girl, you can't go to the gym today. And I, I, I slept through it, it was so embarrassing. Whenever I have anxiety, I have a routine now of picking up my journal and just writing down however I feel. And a lot of that just helps me calm down and get it out of me in a very healthy way. So I challenge Natalie to journal every day during this experience because I think journaling can be a really powerful tool. So this is what I wrote yesterday. Today is going to be an amazing day full of flow, productivity, and happiness. I refuse to be harsh on myself and those that I love around me. I will listen to my body's needs and ask myself, what do I need? Do I need a breath, a stretch, to take a break, high vibrational foods? Today I will only share kindness with myself and I will filter high stress news people and negative energies out. So 
That was really sweet, and I'm gonna write something motivational for myself today. I know in this time and age, everything can be just like really quick. You wanna get food, fast food. Just like be present with my food and almost like thank it in a way. I know it's kind of weird, but just like, oh my goodness, like this is gonna be so good for my body. This is gonna be so good for this. And I know it's cheesy, but I was really, really sick for a long time because of my breast implants. I explanted it, I just feel amazing. And I just wanna make sure that everything that I'm sourcing my body, that I'm telling my body is all positive. Self-care is just as important as working out hard at the gym, having the right mind, and following a diet. What Natalie needs is time for herself and a break from literally everything. Michelle and Nat Woo! go into the spa. This is our weekly thing now. Okay, we wish. <laughs> we need some R&R &R because Natalie has been kicking ass yeah. in her street body Ooh, makeover. Hopefully. Are you having fun? I really am. Besides the obvious benefits of going to the spa and getting to relax and having a massage, we had a lot of friendship bonding as well. Look at her. Oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're so ready for this. We are 20 minutes late though, so please help. You honestly look so epic in that chair. Like the glowing water. <laughs> oh my God. I think that this experience was crucial for Natalie to get back on track with her North Star goal, and for me to feel rested and recharged as well. We just got back from our spa it day. Was so nice. It was so good. We are refreshed. We I are know. ready to go. We're vibing. Today, I feel much more motivated because I know I could do this. What do you think about that, Jupiter? It's pretty fantastic if you ask me. So I'm just keeping myself motivated with the little things. They matter, and he is about to start barking. Okay. Do you think that's good? Yeah? No, I could be doing better? Oh, I could be doing better. Today is streaming's day. I'm currently getting ready. Check out this crazy hair that my stylist was like, Natalie, I think your dress would look very nice with this hair. And I'm like, I've never worn a ponytail. I had my very first stylist appointment and everything that he gave me fit, but like perfectly. So this is the dress. Dun, da, da, da. It looks like that. These are the shoes, which I'm never in my life gonna wear again. They're so uncomfortable. I'm gonna die. I just feel like more confident in my body, and that was great. That was a great feeling. I wasn't expecting that at all. Last day, new workout. I'm scared. You guys, today's my last workout, and I'd be lying if I was telling you that I'm not excited. I'm very excited. Jupiter is very excited. You're almost done. The final few weeks, I really saw Natalie pushing herself beyond what everyone has told her she can't do. I feel stronger. You look stronger. Finish my workout with Nick. I'm dead. Last one. Did you survive? I think I, I, think I died for a moment. <laughs> look at this. I feel like I've developed a really good habit of wanting to go to the gym and wanting to move my body and making time for it. So I'm just excited to see what's to come. We made it! We made it! <laughs> and we have a special guest. I'm here. Send it! My husband! Okay, shall we dive in? Yeah, ready? <laughs> drum roll, drum roll. So, your total weight loss uh, was 5.6 pounds, which is great. You went from 151.8 to 146.2. To, to some, like a five pound difference might not be a lot, but to even see, like, I literally couldn't lose a pound. Like, I just couldn't do it because. When your thyroid is out of whack, like your whole, like your whole hormones, like they just don't, you just can't. And so I feel, ah, I feel good. <laughs> Here's where it gets exciting. So your fat mass change was actually 8.95 pounds. What was really cool to see is the fact that you actually gained 3.35 pounds of muscle. Yay! <laughs> Okay, Natalie, it's time to see your before and after <laughs> photos. So this is you at the beginning. Oh, wow, yeah. And this is you today. Oh. Yeah, I do look a little more defined. A little bit. Yeah. Look at your abs <laughs> popping my, out. My tummy, my Natalie, tummy. you look really different. Really? Your yeah. Neck, your neck. It's a journey of self-love, really. It's like going back to yourself, what's that like? How am I gonna really accept, you know, the way that God made me and the person that I was meant to be so, it was an incredible journey and I 
It's crazy now being on the other side of it. Like, I was so scared to go into it and everything just turned out much better than what I expected, so I'm feeling great. Watching and supporting you on this journey has been so amazing for me. I look up to you so much as an empowered woman and for you to trust me to take you on this journey, like, thank you. I mean, I feel like this is a very good safe space. You guys provide that, so I appreciate you too, Garrett. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below with what you want to see next. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we take on new and exciting challenges every single week. Less and emotional. <laughs> Less emotional. Not really. I cry no. in like every video. I love that. Crying is so good. And be sure to subscribe to Natalie. She has an amazing channel where she does DIY, lifestyle, health, beauty content, and she's just a ray of sunshine. So let's show her some love from our family to her. And that's all for today. Bye. Bye.